All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Becker Saltwater Guide, and today we're gonna be filming a Christmas wish list kind of video because Christmas is coming up, and uh, I know you wanna buy gifts for your grandkids or your kids or your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whoever wants to fish in your life. And um, so I'm gonna be adding gifts from my list and I'm also gonna be adding stuff that I already have and uh, all at different price ranges and uh, things just that I think y'all will like and that you might want. So uh, let's get right into it. So starting at number one, I know a lot of people do starting at 10, I guess, but starting at number one, I have the Banshee Bull Bay Rod, the 710 version, and uh, that is actually on my list, and I'll put it right on the screen, right? Yeah, so that's on my list. It's It runs about $179, and yeah, it's a looks like a pretty good rod, and hopefully I'll get that for Christmas from somebody. So coming up on number two, I have the Toadfish rod, um, the 7.6 version, and that is also on my list. It is $130, and I'm gonna be putting that up. Right now. So I can't really review those products until maybe later on, but as of now, they are on my list, and I, I like the look of them. I like the product, they look good. They look like they perform good from what I see on other YouTube videos, and I have people that have used those. So yeah, so number three, the, Ter the Shimano Terramar XXSE. So it's like the bigger version it's kind of more for the Gulf Coast, and that's where I fish. So that rod will run you around $299, and I've actually personally used this rod. One of my friends has it. It's a really nice rod, very sensitive. Um, you can really feel the bite, and it has a lot of power behind it. So yeah, you can also really whip some baits out, like uh, you can sling them. And uh, so yeah, I'll put that picture right up now. And uh, yeah, so it's a pretty cool rod, and that's also on my list. And then coming up on number four, I have the Spheros Saltwater Edition, the 3000 to 4000. And um, I, most of my life, I use pin reels and pin rods, and I like them. I want to try other things so I can, like, not be biased in my videos and, like, try other things and so I can really give everybody an honest review of what I think going forward. And so the Spheros is a really good reel from the Shimano um, line. And yeah, so that's on my list too. And that runs you, I believe, around 150. I didn't write it down here, but I believe it's around 150. And I'll put it up. And so coming in at number five, I have the pin spinfisher combo, which I do have right here. And it is the rod I use um, all the time. And it's, I've had these rods, I have like six of them. I've had these rods for like six years. They haven't really broken except for one of them, but it's because I snapped it on um, a door. So, that wasn't really the reel's fault, or the rod's fault, but they're super durable. I've taken these things to the beach, thrown them in sand, dropped them in the water. The reels also are super durable. Pin makes some of the most durable fishing gear on the market. So yeah, pin 
if you're watching this, please sponsor me. Just kidding, maybe. Um, but yeah, also guys, I am not affiliated with any of these companies as of now. So this is an unbiased review of all the products that I own. And then so, yeah, so I, I do enjoy this rod. It's gone through many different um, trials and been thrown around, been used almost on the daily for about six years and still holding up pretty good. And yeah, so next on my list, I have, or I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you how much this is first before I move on. It's, it will run you about 169 bucks for the combo, the whole thing. And um, so next on my list, I have the Voodoo Shrimp. If you wanna come a little bit closer to get the Voodoo Shrimp. Voodoo shrimp, it could be a really good stocking stuffer. They're not very expensive. They're about $7 for a two pack. And um, they have a great action. I use them literally in every situation, almost. And I've caught tons of fish on them. And yeah, so the voodoo shrimp is one of my favorite lures and it won't run you much. And it can be used as a stocking stuffer, a small gift that you wanna like fill in, you know, but for inshore, like redfish, trout, this thing will get it done. The weedless and unweedless version are both very good lures. So yeah. All right, let's keep going on the list. So coming up at number seven, bubble blade pliers. They are very durable. I have them right here on this bag. They come with a sheath. So you can put them in a sheath and put them in your belt or put them on this pack like I have them. But they're very du durable. I've thrown these in salt. They're pretty rust resistant. Um, they're all, in all, the cutters are very sharp. Cuts line pretty easily. But in all, they're just a good stocking stuffer again or a small gift. Um, they'll run you about 50 bucks. So yeah, those are um, a good thing to have on the water. So coming in at number eight, I have waders because it is getting into the winter and um, water's starting to get cold. So I got these Orvis waders, the clear water version, and um, they'll run you about 300 bucks. I've had these for two years now. I've never gotten a hole in them with pretty heavy use during the winter. And uh, they're great for wading. They'll keep you warm. They'll keep you insulated and they'll keep you dry. So I'd highly recommend the Orvis waders. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but I mean, I guess you know what they say. You buy, uh, you pay for what you get. Yeah, I think that's the thing, pretty sure. But um, yeah, these have not ripped. They're really durable. I would just recommend rinsing them off every time you use them and they should be fine. And uh, yeah, so let's see, next on the list. And also these are stocking foot. So the boots are down there. They're just Orvis Clearwater boots, and both of these together are 300. And so, coming up on number nine, uh, I have the Atollis Fly Caddy, which is, um, they're not a very big brand. I really like their brand. I like their hats. I like their, um, I like their stuff in general. I need to pick me up a Fly Caddy. But I put it on my list because I thought they're really useful. A lot of people stick their flies in their hat or in like their visor or whatever, wherever they stick flies. Um, it's a good gift to get the fly fishermen in your life. And uh, they can put it on your hat, you can put it anywhere, but it's reusable and it doesn't tear up your hat. You can stick your fly, pull it out real quick. And uh, they're really, really useful, really smart items, ideas, very smart idea. But um, it's a really useful item. So I'll, I'll throw that up right now. And there you, 
they'll run you about fifteen dollars. So yeah, they're not they're not too expensive, and uh, I think they're definitely worth it. And so for the last um now the last but not least on my list, we got the Fish Pond waterproof hip pack, and um, this thing really like it. It's um. It's, nice to wear you can clip your like I said you can clip the pliers on I even have a fly fly rod holder that I can put on my belt so you can carry a rod and a fly rod while you're waiting it has a water tight zipper and you can get in pretty easily and I have a fly box in here you can keep a fly box this is a pretty big fly box and you can keep your sunglasses in there too. Got my sunglasses right here. So yeah, you can uh, you can fit a good bit in this bag, and um, it will keep it dry. So you can also put your phone in there and uh, keep everything dry. So yeah, that is um. That is my list, and uh, I'm going to show you all one more thing before we leave. I'm going to show you all my fly rod setup. Because this, I'm not going to add this on the list because it's very expensive. But if you do want to buy it, I will tell you the pricing. Um, but this is definitely not for beginner fly fishermen unless you want to spend that kind of money. But I would definitely recommend getting into fly fishing before you spend this much on a setup so i got this orvis hydros reel and uh this is the eight weight version because i do live in destin so i catch redfish on this and um and bass and then i have um, the geolumus nrx plus saltwater edition also in the eight weight and then i have rio flats pro line so yeah these are uh it's a really good setup. I've caught a good number of fish on it and it's held up. It casts really easily, super easy. I believe the rod will run you $999, $999. And the reel is about close to 400, I believe. And then the line's about same as like a higher end line as any other brand, it's about $129. But yeah, it's super, super cool set up so yeah that's the end of my video guys so um thank you for watching please hit a thumbs up and please subscribe and um i'll see y'all next time in the next video peace out